Hello, ladies and gentlemen, here on A and Z, I, Zauberhaft, welcome you to without doubt a holiday for my channel. The first game in Fabula Nova Crystallis series, Final Fantasy XIII. I have been waiting for this for so long. I never thought this day would come, but here it is. The game has been ported to PC yesterday and I just can't leave one of the most epic sagas ever made in gaming industry without attention. No, I'm not a fan of Japanese royal playing games or Final Fantasy series since I have never played a single game but this one and I absolutely love it. So the thing I'll tell you from the get-go is... If you know who I am or familiar with other works on my channel, forget it. As soon as the game starts, probably you won't recognize me at all. The atmosphere in Final Fantasy XIII is so enveloping that it carries me away almost instantaneously, so here I go, I have warned you. <laughs> and traditionally, a couple of my focuses for this playthrough, or what kind of playthrough it is going to be. A very thorough and detailed one, first of all. Up until the very end, I'm going to be reading everything, taking in the story in all its aspects, coming up with strategic analyses meanwhile, failing and emerging victorious in battles, so you may view this as a guide too. And it is likely to involve a considerable amount of emotion and acting out, which I just cannot help doing. This is how excited I become while playing it, barely sitting on the chair, so as soon as I enter the world of Final Fantasy, I'll become almost one more protagonist in the game, who simply did not get the face time for some reason, but a personality notably different from my normal self. And from this moment forth, Special thanks for Square Enix for this port. Not the perfect one, but it'll probably be patched meanwhile. And for now, get ready for a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling, and a lot of intense and challenging combat. And of course, have a nice time watching. The lights are fading away. The twilight is descending. Subtly and silently covering all. The final fantasy begins. Once, I thought, if there was a distant world, calm and serene, somewhere far away, where people would live without fear, deprivation, or violence. It would be the paradise we all seek. For years I have been running from hard days, disappointment and failed expectations, from difficulties. Did I know then that in fact I've been running from my very self? And in so doing I have found Cocoon. A thriving civilization of exalted and happy people under the shelter of their patrons, the Falci. Could I ever imagine what I had dragged myself into when I first looked at the magnificence of those nearly omnipotent beings? Can one stand a chance if the enemy is an incarnation of a god itself. From such things, you can run, but you can't hide. But I was only to learn about the things worth fighting for. When you are barely holding on, and the powers of doom, draining you of the last spark of hope, are pinning you to the ground, there are those who'll stand guard by you guiding your way against all the odds. There are powers in this world impervious to bullets and raging fire. Determination, valor, courage, hope, faith, and boundless optimism. 
Nothing can tear you down when you are led by them. When those you love are beside you, just one mere touch may be enough to miraculously light the sky. Back in the day, it was just a gloomy and foggy future flying away with the wind. In those 13 days, I have found even more than just magical powers. I have found friends, without which oblivion would have been my only fate. The future Cocoon had in store for me. I hope you liked my little intro monologue for this game, and from this moment forth, we're tapping new game on normal mode. Definitely yes. We are not going to cut this game any slack. The sky of Cocoon. Have I ever seen anything brighter? Anything this kind? The 13 days after we awoke were the beginning of the end. Which means probably I have arrived just in time. Sitting on the train with all the refugees. And for some reason, I had a really bad feeling about this. Final Fantasy 13. Hello, bulky guy. Up to anything suspicious? Just checking in on us, aren't you? Go ahead. That's not a lucky shift anyway. You serious? Be quiet. Quiet, eh? Best of luck. Looks like it's not going to be remotely quiet. If someone asked me, this is something I have expected. She did it. The device is deactivated! Take up arms! Oh yeah! There's no time to waste! That lady is definitely up to something determined. Let's follow her. Seems about right. There are more soldiers on the train. Is she gonna do this? Whoa! She's taking him out! Gar's disabled! We can take the train for ourselves! So far, so good. They all wanna fight. Good for them. Ha! Good for us. Liberation is at hand. What in the pulse is going on around here? The train is under fire! What do we do? It's gonna be tough! Have some hot pie! She has definitely given them a hot pie of fire! Now this thing is definitely, definitely dangerous and now it is outraged. Uh-oh. I hope no one's dead. What am I talking about? This is, this is like a battle zone. And those guys are not remotely going to be merciful. Oh man, they are sending wild beasts. Like... Sweet mother mercy! Oh yeah, the beginning is really intense! What? Isn't that a cute way to stop a train? Who pulled the stop lever? Really? Running away is just not for the ones such as us. This guy has stopped the train! 
and I have bought the ticket. And you will have to give me the damn refund. Will you? Rational? Whoa! Looks like this thing has said no. Watch and learn. But this thing is made of metal. Metal things never learn! Okay, guys. Just for those who are fresh to this game and don't have any idea of what that is, I will go through the tutorials here. But in all honesty, I find them a little bit silly because they are lengthy and they explain a lot of really, really basic things that are not supposed to be even explained and just picked from the game. But we will view the tutorial anyway. What it says about that time flows continuously throughout the battle. Watch your ATB gorge slowly charge. Yes, it's the thing that is shining right now. It feels quite slowly, but we can tolerate that. Characters perform actions by expanding charge ATB gore segments. The actions which they perform depend on the commands you select. You can input the entire strings of commands, then unleash them all at once. Select Auto Battle to queue up a set of commands tailored for your situation. Select abilities to specify individual commands as you see fit. A description of each command will be displayed at the top of the screen. And I believe there is no time in active battle to read the description of the screen at the top. <laughs> yes, for now, try selecting the auto battle command. Move your cursor to auto battle and then press enter. Yes, this is something I have not set up yet because I wanted to show you the settings. So yes, I have not done this preemptively. Of course, there are different buttons and I'm using a controller. Next, you will need to charge the target your attacks. To choose the target, yeah. When fighting multiple enemies, select your target using cross and then press enter to confirm it. Actually, does keyboard have any cross? That's the question, but from this moment forth I will try to cut down any issues relating the uh, <laughs> input and controls of this game and focus on the story itself. You only face one enemy this time, so the choice is simple. Press enter to confirm your target and you will execute your two attack commands immediately. Once you have finished your attacks, enter more commands and continue fighting until you have defeated the enemy. Note that you will only be able to control the actions of lightning. Saz will fight on his own, supporting her as he deems best. Good luck! From here on out, how you fight is up to you. So, wanna face me, Mana Swin Warmech? You are not gonna stand a chance against Taberhaft. Really? Stand down. I will better use abilities all by myself. Saz, keep it up! We can do this! Aha! It's retreating! We did it! Stand down! What are you gonna do now? Oh, this is not something I meant. Not giving up, huh? Don't you enrage it. Are you kidding, Saz? Actually, I believe it thinks that was. A good chunk of a challenge. Keep it up, Saz. Nothing to it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on! Yes! You did it! Of course it won't! It needs a good beating 
A lesson of force, I think. Ah, yeah. Punch is served. And then some more. Wave cannon? Lie down! Woohoo! Ah! Defensive stance! That doesn't seem nice. A warm reception, huh? Ah! <laughs> Using your tail to shoot? Is that thing a uh, scorpion type monster? Looks like there will be enough resources for me to take it down manually. Here we go. It won't last for long. And now it uses the wave cannon too. Is that your best anyway? Because I'll take it down. Hold on, lightning! He will not do it once again. Finish it! Say goodbye, Mr. Manaswin Warmech. <laughs> Isn't this a nice pattern to start up the game with a relatively long boss fight? And we got potions from this fight too. Taken down. And falling into the abyss. Not going to bar the way of mighty Zauberhaft anymore. Uh, uh, oh goodness. Hey Saz, wanna take a nap? We've just taken down one Warmech. Not much. Aren't you supposed to protect civilians, soldier? I mean, you are Sanctum, aren't you? What are you doing trying to stop the Purge? Why don't you tell me that? I was a soldier. Hmm. Hey, Laconic. Where do you think you're going? Do you, Saz, think she's gonna wait for us? Let's catch up. Chocobo, we just can't catch a break, can we? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. You have signed for it, haven't you? Better follow up. <clears throat> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Saz. It's no time for this. It's no time for complaining. Yes, here we go. We will adjust the settings right here. Camera control, change? Of course I will change it. Because... Uh, yeah, probably it's going to be all standard here. I see no reason inverting anything but this murderous string of events. Yes, all standard. Nice, I've got the opportunity to set everything up before going on. Data log, this is the place where I will be reading everything. You possess an advanced digital journal known as a data log that autonomously streams information deemed pertinent. Which is really, really handy, that's what I should say. Whenever the data log records a new entry, a notice will appear in the upper left corner of the screen. To pursue entries, yes. Well, actually, what I want to do sure is finally do get the settings up. There are a lot of exclamation marks stating that there are a lot of things for my attention, but speaker names are supposed to be on. Default battle command is going to be abilities because I'm not trusting any AI in this regard. And finally, we will go for controller type on screen button explanations. For tutorials, that is. Target selection will remain from list. And this is where we'll stop. From this moment forth, I'm guessing we will keep the reading for the future. Yes, we definitely can get through there, can we? These tiny things allow us to save game. And I will be doing that anytime I come across these. Just for my convenience. And for your convenience, too. Mess? Do you really think it is a mess? It is a massacre. Many and various enemies stalk the roads that you must travel. 
Upon entering an enemy's detection radius, the minimap in the upper right center of the screen will flash in warning. Coming into contact with any enemy will initiate a battle. Yeah, yeah. And immediately... The data log adds the basics for the tutorials. These guys want to fight. They will have their fighting really soon. Aha! Two flashes and they're down. Army, huh? Not so tough now. Press on. What do you suppose this is? Whoop! Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about this portal-like device? It's the one they used to bring in the cat-dog creatures, the rumored Sanctum bioweapons. Which means we'll face them quite soon, fancy that? As Saz. Ha, <laughs> some more Psycom troops. Keep it up, Saz. Follow us. Those are no match for us. No reason to dawdle here. This one doesn't stand a chance all alone. Finish them and we're good to go. Good job, Saz. No spoils with that. We're perfectly fine. Looks like the army is patrolling these roads. A bit wrong target, but I have got two of them. They're swapping positions. Okay. And you get some too. Right in the center. Good attack. That was nice. I seem to be getting all five stars so far. Isn't that reassuring? Yeah, I can see that, Saz. Thanks for a wonderful explanation. The fact is... Can we do anything about it? <laughs> yeah. I don't like him either. Just let one of those come close. What do we have here? Not wanting to get purged, I get. Taken on trained soldiers? Uh, better to die than get sent to pulse. Oh yeah, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, well hell's not sounding too bad. Because this place ain't exactly paradise. Domesticated peace. Oh yeah, that also Nothing did sound happen. reasonable. Maybe not for a soldier girl, but I'm trying to say hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Saz, there is no reason to wait. And there is no time for the fear. Charge in! Now that's something I like! Destroy those Pantherons and we're gonna be okay! Just let them bunch up and strike both of them at once! Hmm, yes! Done for! You're all alone against us! Can you do anything? Nothing! Oh, come on! Roaring? Trying to bit me? Not for long. Onward! Hmm, is there something of interest around here? Definitely there is. No need to Some be more potions. Out. Hmm, yes, no need to be pushing. But there is no need to to become slow pokes so far so good just keep together and we'll bust through their forces and when we do we'll be calling the tune apparently the PC version of Final Fantasy has yeah. pretty much the same Must interface nice as uh, the Xbox 360 used to oh that's some kind of flying opponent okay I'll try focus down the enforcer and then deal with this Bulky guy. Oh, Saz, come on. Finish him. Thank you very much. Let's finish him together. Good job. What do you think you're doing? 
shooting at Saz? Whoa, he's armed with rockets! <laughs> you will not just have the time to! Let's see how much you got! Oh, yeah. Say hello to Saz's bullets! And it gave us the Phoenix Dawn, a, po a potion that allows us basically to revive fallen allies. Isn't this the nice time to engage this? Such a detailed explanation for the battle and no explanation for what we have just acquired. And we have acquired an Iron Bengal which basically increases our health by 50. And at this point, it is a really, really nice addition to our arsenal. That's what I think. Saz, what are you doing? Why are you standing here enjoying the sights? Oh, Ooh. God! Looks like our own time is running short too. Wow. They're massacring people. Did that beast have order to do this? With hands, Saz. With our bare hands and a couple of weapons, we do beat them because we want to live. Hello, Mr. Warden. Not so tough now. Actually, you are dead. Here you have it. This is how it is done. Just two blows and this entire squad is down. No match for me. See, Saz? We can pull this through. We can. Are you with me? Yeah, he is. Now listen. Isn't this the time to engage them silently? Okay, let's try. Preemptive strike. Uh oh. Uh, preemptive strike? So much for the element of surprise. Yeah. Surprise, it's got a panther on. There's no element of surprise. Item usage. This is the tutorial I am going to skip. Not because I don't want you guys to see it, but... If you take this tutorial, it will force you to lose one of your potions. And I'm really a greedy person right now. Basically, it will tell you to go for... Items instead of abilities, choose potion there and it will heal your entire your entire team. We'll skip it. Look, that's probably a wrong move. We'll focus on the warden. He's evidently a little bit weaker than the Pantheron. That out of the way. Destroy the creature. Actually. Guys, do feel free to post in the comments, in the comment section, I mean, what do you think these creatures are? Because uh, these pantherons, evidently, judging by the name, have something of... Ooh, whoa, whoa, what the hell has happened? Oh. My. God. Someone's gonna pay for this. What do we do now? Do we turn back? There's no time. What do you suggest we do? Quiet. <laughs> yeah, just quiet, Saz. Looks like she has got an idea. Hey. What? Hey. Uh, no, no, don't oh, hey! Don't go away, Light! No, we have work to do. Put her down, Saz. Oh, that was painful. Uh, at least she's out of energy. Have you found something useful? Hmm... That's an interesting platform. <laughs> oh yeah. I would have told Saz to not grab her like that, but... I do think Saz has done right. Because... There was no time to reason her. She wouldn't have listened. Ah... All friends! Destroy the Warden as usual! 
And then we'll take on Pantherons. And that's one of the basic tactics for such battles. I'm taking on two of them, but... Yeah, let, let me take down this one. Oh yeah, I'm, at, I'm assaulting all three of them in one go. Oops, one managed to escape. And here we go. Is the only one remaining here? Just finish him off. Wasn't too hard. But that's just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. I told you I won't cut this game any slack, but in fact, this game is not going to cut me any slack. We'll save over here. And go further on. Wherever it leads us to. That mechanism looks a little bit shabby, doesn't it? I mean, a little bit old-fashioned. If compared to the technologies we have been looking at before. Hmm, Not looks our lucky day. Really? Maybe it is, because these guys are evidently at the controlling device. If we take down those... Deportees, are we? Weapons down. I hate for this to turn ugly. Huh. Uh, turn ugly? He wants to kill us without a fight. Seriously? Then he will have to face my rage! Attack chain, eh? Okay, let's view the tutorial. That's also a basic thing that is supposed to be done throughout the entire game. To initiate an attack chain, first select auto battle or attack from the menu and choose the Psychom Marauder as your target. I wonder if I do because probably there is an option to take the support guys first. It's not a preemptive strike anyway. Let's select two attacks. See the bar displayed beneath the target's name? That is known as the Chain Gorge. Yeah, his, this thing under his health bar, that is. Keep an eye on the Chain Gorge as you strike. Here we go. It has filled a little bit up. When you attack an enemy, its Chain Gorge fills. Hit home and the percentage beneath increases. The percentage is called the chain bonus. The more times you hit the enemy, the more damage it will take from subsequent attacks. Continue pum uh, pummeling the Psychom Marauder, boosting your chain gorge bonus until the gorge is full. Okay, I'll try to. But I'm not sure that's the, uh, base the best idea here. If I were to choose the tactics, I would just finish off those two support guys first. Once the chain gauge is full, one further blow will stagger your foe. A staggered enemy takes greater damage when attacked. Chaining attacks to stagger powerful adversaries is essential to defeating them. Be aware, however, that an enemy's chain gauge begins to drain the moment it is staggered. Once the gorge is empty, the enemy will no longer be staggered. Well, that probably means we'll just have to re-stagger him and it is going to be A-OK. -okay. On your guard, Marauder! I respect a fair fight! Come on, Saz, we can pull this off! Hit him hard! Yes! He doesn't have any chance! Your last word, Marauder! And done. Aha! Uh -huh. You'd better run! Hey, guys! Do you like this? Probably you do. Because you're going to die in a matter of seconds. 
If you don't run. Yeah. Whew. Victory. You see, guys? I've told them, but they wouldn't listen. Looks like we make a nice oh, team here. Hasn't she said she was a soldier? Huh, looks like the information is what? Classified military under info? a top secret badge. What's the matter? You quit, didn't you? Did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody oh, your secrets? Wait a minute. What? I'm after the foul sea. And what are you gonna do with this, Falsy? You can't be serious. Hey, I don't suppose you ha will have a nice conversation with the entity. Huh. Didn't have a choice. Saz? Are you okay? Just, just take it easy, Saz. We're not going to get the answer anyway, at least not for now. But we will. Eventually. You'll have my word on that. Meanwhile, the war continues to rage, and innocent people are dying. And the last thing they hear is propaganda and flat-out lies. Is somebody going to shut this blasphemous and hypocritic mouth up? Just please. They are already exposed to the dangers of this world. Thanks. Finally. You stay here. I was getting tired of listening to this crap. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. These people need heroes. There's no room for doubt, huge. Here. You keep your cool, and they will too. You got it? Got it. Snow's right. What's our motto? The army's no match for Nora. That a boy. <laughs> Hooray! We'll stand together. The resistance front. The edge and the point of the resistance of survivors. Data log. That's what we have. And here we go with another protagonist of our story. Named Snow. Yes, sure you didn't. That's a little bit weird clothes he has. It's over. It's all over. Over? Not yet. Not until we finish the last one of these bastards. Someone has been doing really, really wacky stuff in this world, and that ended up in this. We do it, or we're done. And from this moment forth, I'm guessing I will have to cut this episode at this point, so we could proceed with Snow the very next episode of Final Fantasy XIII on A and Z. Yes, but for now, not for long, but I will have to sign out. See you soon, guys.